Hey guys, and today I'm going to show you how to make three classic gin cocktails at home using a mass dry gin. First, we're going to make one of my favorite cocktails, a Negroni. You're going to take one ounce each of Campari and sweet vermouth, and then you're going to add an ounce and a half of a mass dry gin. From there, you can just stir all the ingredients together with ice in a mixing glass. Then, before I serve, I just like to add an orange twist for garnish. And that's it. The orange peel really brings out the citrus notes in the gin. It tastes really balanced and fresh. Next, we're gonna make a Spanish G&T, which is kind of just a jazzed up version of a regular g and I'm gonna start by putting ice into a balloon style wine glass. And then I'm going to take two ounces of a mass dry gin. And then I'm gonna add my tonic water. What makes this a Spanish style g and is all of the fun herbs and garnishes that we're going to add. So I like to add a few sprigs of rosemary, some grapefruit slices, and some limes. I love to drink these in the summer. There's something about all the herbs and the citrus that just makes it so refreshing. Cheers. Now the last cocktail that I'm gonna show you guys is for a giblet, which is a recipe that's been around since the 19th century when sailors would actually drink it at sea in order to prevent scurvy. Now luckily you don't have to worry too much about scurvy anymore, but you should still drink gimlets. To make one, you're gonna take your shaker and you're gonna do two ounces of a mass dry gin, one ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice, and three-fourths of an ounce of simple syrup. Add some ice to your shaker, and you're gonna wanna give this a good shake until it's super cold. Should take about 10 seconds. Next, you're gonna strain it into your cutest glass. I love a Nicanora glass. And then you're just gonna garnish with a lime wheel. And there you go.